Give me those scissors, no! God, no! This feels wrong. This is so horrible. What a lame piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten a lot of comments from people asking me to try an Ebo on Harp. An Ebo is this little device, has a magnet inside, and it vibrates strings infinitely to create sound. So we're gonna try it on harp. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work well on the harp because not all the strings are metal, but we're gonna find out. This harp has a bunch of different strings. It's got nylon up here, it's got gut strings in the middle, and it's got wire bass strings at the bottom. What are gut strings? They're kind of gross, but they're made of animal guts. I've tried a Kamek harp that was strung in all nylon strings, and the sound doesn't come close to gut strings. So that's what we use. <laughs> cool. Does it work on higher strings? So those are the wire strings, right? Yeah. So, so those are metal. What about the gut? <laughs> Nothing? No, I, no. <laughs> nylon, no. It only works on the low strings. Yeah, I figured that ones. would be the case. So, I mean, if you hold it there while you play the higher strings and maybe put like an effect on it, that'd probably be pretty cool, right? This is not really that great because I have to like hold this here the whole time and then I can't play other things. So my whole hand is busy. So, I mean, we have a pedal that can do it without you having to hold that up. Yeah, So which is the, way easier, and then I can yeah. play on top yeah. of it. So this is not really... On harp, yeah, because on guitar you have the frets and you can slide up with it, you can change notes and it's uh, cool. Oh, that is cool, yeah. I've seen people use bows on harp before and it always seemed a little gimmicky to me, but I was sent this Picasso guitar bow to try on harp and it seems small enough to fit in between the strings and it seems fun, so we're gonna try it. I hate the feeling of putting rosin on. This bow is double-sided so I can get from string to string easier. And you can play two strings at once. But like, it's dissonant. I'm using every part of my brain right now because this motion is not something I'm used to while I'm playing. So like, do you see my hand going up and down? I yeah. This is like patting your head, whatever that people do. Do you picture that like becoming a thing for harpists? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> it sounds great on guitar. If you saw the videos, people use it on guitar. Yeah. Very cool. I think if you drench it in effects, it's cool. Yeah. But like dry is a little difficult, right? It's too right? scratchy. I think we need to get a, a, a bow expert in here. I think we need a professional because I'm obviously doing something wrong. <laughs> I'm here with my friend James, cellist, and uh, he's got a lot of bows with him. <laughs> Look at the bows. And I don't really know anything about mm. bows, but I'm gonna learn. Okay, so this is, how expensive is this bow? So this bow, I think it's about $20. It's a little screw, and that's what tightens the bow hair. When I turn it, it's gonna bring back the hair and tighten it. And it's basically made up of like a million tiny little teeth, like spikes all over it. And it's pretty much like if you pluck it, it's doing that, but like a million times. So when you put it on, it's just like plucking it. Can you do the face again? What is it like? It's like, it's like plucking it a million times. I'm not gonna help you. I, that was a guess. 
This is the expensive bow. Look at the leather. How much is that, Remy? Look at that. Remy? It's 3,002 gloves. And this actually controls the uh, the weight of the bow. So it balances different. With this little metal, you have to do it. This is not gonna be, I, this is $3,000. Yeah, yeah. If I drop this, Don't this is bad. Ha, ha, ha. It's the wood more. That's the, um, because it's lightweight and it's better balanced. So you get a better sound out of the cello. Now I'm gonna try a $3,000 bow on harp. And if you do it more towards the bottom, it'll like get more sound out of it. That's beautiful. Uh, so then you got this one. I just gotta go to this. Nice. This is yeah. the trash bow. This is just horrible. It's like this mini bow. Oh, it's so cute. We're gonna do the spider exercise. So this okay. helps strengthen your hand. And you know, the spider's climbing up. It's climbing all the way to the top. Oh, I don't like going down. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. like this. Yeah, and you got like the heaviest bow, so it's kind of funny. This spider's this is tired. What, like, eight, this is what eight-year-olds do. To, I have them slap the bow. You know we're just gonna clip that. <laughs> just <leave> yeah. that <laughs> in. We're just gonna clip that and have no ex Do they call you Mr. James? Uh, some kids. He's very awkward. I don't <laughs> like it. I don't prefer that. Everyone in the comments say thank you, Mr. James. <laughs> Thanks for showing us all your bows, Mr. James. Okay, so... This is an Ebo. It has a magnet in it. Now, uh, you wanna try it? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> it meowed. Can you have your finger on it while it's going yeah. so mm. slide up? So it can only be open strings. Yeah. yeah. What a lame piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so now I got this bow for James to try. It's a tiny guitar bow on cello. Does that actually work on a cello? We're gonna find How out. How does it even, is it a circle? I don't get it. You gotta <laughs> properly prepare. Wow, this is like a Star Wars bow. It is like a circle. I told them. It's like wrapped around. Okay, first you got properly rosin. Hold on. So we have to put the rosin on because it lifts up the little teeth that are on the bow. I guess I'll do it on both sides. We'll see what happens. All right, is that enough rosin? <laughs> almost, almost. Uh, Are you messing around, or is that really? No, 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 no. This is really. That's how much you gotta, you gotta yeah, put yeah, on. You gotta put rosin on it. Yeah, like if it's shiny, it, it's it's not quite right. I think he's fucking with us. No, no, no. I'm I, really. I, I, <laughs> I, I you know, I've had people steal these because they thought it was drugs. Can I tell you that. If you want to take this, I will hold this juicy rosin. Oh, it looks like a fruit. I think it. <laughs> it needs more rosin. It's so small. No, it, <laughs> it does not. Rosin. No, it does Give not. Me the rosin. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're ready. I have very little time to hold out a note. It's like a <laughs> second. <laughs> I gotta play something fast. Yeah, play something fast. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I think it has its uses. I think I could use both at the same time. I feel right. like that'd be kind of funny. Maybe you could, um, yeah, maybe use a little one. So I'll, I'll do the G, you do the, you do the A. All right. I love the grip though. Grip's really comfy. Like it's very like, and I love the weight of it too. It feels like a quality, like thing. It does feel like a quality yeah. thing. So James, what do you think of this bow? Like if I look at it pretty close, it's actually pretty good hair. Like it's actually, I think there's like a hundred hairs in it. It looks just like this too. Like if you, if you compare it. Like they're actually a little smaller than these hairs. Is that good that they're small? I think so, because then you get more little spikies that can uh, make more noises. On a molecular level, if you looked up close, it's really bumpy. It actually looks a lot like our human hair. If I take off a hair, maybe I could take a hair off. Let me try. That's okay. I mean, I don't think I you need to. <laughs> so imagine this times 200. Let's, let's just pull out 200 and see right now. Can we make a bow? Can you give me a hair? hair? Can you donate a hair? Can I just cut some? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, this Whoa. is a bow. Cut off the tip of my ponytail. Let's try it. Oh my God. 
<laughs> the Giants, let's go. Wait. Let's go, I got the scissors. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> it's in the bag. It's in the bag, no one cares. You just gotta keep them together, don't lose them. Oh. <laughs> Stop, give me those scissors, no! <laughs> Get on, no! That sounds like an orchestra, right? What kind of bow is that? Uh, so this is a white bow, and uh, I usually need this to get in the right like mental state to use all my other bows. You know, I need to have every type of bow. You ready? I'm ready. Well, we gotta put some rosin on it. You got the rosin? No, stop with the rosin. We're not doing <laughs> rosin. That seriously works. I had, I didn't expect that to make any noise. I'm yeah, very surprised. I, it's because I put the rosin on it. No, it's not. <laughs> Wait, I gotta play the cello as the bow now, though. <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 it's too deep. No, no, no. It's my cello. No, no, First, we gotta no, put no, rosin no, on it, baby. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, This feels like, this feels wrong. This is so horrible. somebody who's not a harpist I don't know if my opinion matters but if I see a harpist using a bow I'm like that's a gimmick yeah you that's how I, mean? I feel like anything sounds good on the harp if you drench it in effects right I know so. I could fucking <laughs> you know what I mean like that sounds great probably